The word prayer is used 106 times in the Bible. The word pray is used 121 times. A verse about prayer that I want us to focus on right now is John 15 verse 7. It says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. If you treat God like a genie, this verse might get you excited. If you're avoiding him because of sin, the conditions here might discourage you. If you see God time as a chore, this is an invitation for you to be a part of something that is so much greater. Now, this isn't a promise to grant your every wish. I want you to note the conditions of what Jesus is saying here. If you abide in me and my words abide in you. So what does this mean? The word used for abide in the Greek is meno, which means remain, endure. If you have an NIV translation, the word will actually be remain. So if we're to abide in Christ, if we're to remain in Christ, it cannot be an occasional event or formality. It must be a constant reality. Remain. Likewise, His words must remain in us. This is not just calling for prayer, but for meditation on what He says, the Word. Abiding in Christ is prayerful meditation on the Word. So what happens as a result of this? Whatever we wish will be done for us. Now, here's the key. If we abide in Him and His words in us, then what we wish will align with what He wishes. Did you catch that? If we're abiding in Him, we begin to want what He wants. If His words abide in us, we begin to wish for what Jesus wishes for. We are transformed by the renewing of our mind in the Word. So this is not Jesus granting whatever our flesh would desire, but an offer to be transformed by Him to the point that we desire what aligns with His will. Isn't that encouraging? If you wanted Jesus to be your genie, this is a much better reality. What He wants is infinitely better for you than what your flesh would desire. If you're hiding because of your sin, this is a call to be transformed so that you're not living in sin or shame, but living in the righteousness of Christ. If God time is a chore to you, this is an invitation for a revival of your heart and fulfillment that only Christ can give. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16 to 18 says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. God longs for us to abide in Him. God longs for us to be transformed as we abide in Him. And so I want to ask you, what's your excuse? What is better than God in your life? On the throne of your heart, is God sitting there or is it something else? Because you cannot be transformed by someone you don't spend any time with. You cannot expect to have effective prayer when all you do is go to Him when you need something. He's not your genie. He's not a vending machine. He's your Father. He's your Lord. He's your Master. He's your Savior. And until you see Him that way, you'll continue to brush Him aside and live a mediocre, lukewarm Christian life. But there is so much more waiting for you. Step out of your comfort zone I challenge you to abide in Christ. 
put away the distractions. Put away the excuses. There is not a single thing that you can offer me that will stand up to the beauty, to the satisfaction, to the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. Abide in Him.